I'm with beloved radio announcer for the Toronto Blue Jays, Jerry Howarth. Jerry, it is so good to see you. Paul, good to see you. As always, it is something special to turn on the radio, as I often do, and hear your voice calling the Blue Jay games. What does it mean to you to be in this position, doing this day after day? What's it all about for you? Well, it's a real blessing to be able to, with my late partner Tom Cheek and Warren Sockyu and now Alan Ashby, reach out to the people across Canada and with XM Satellite Radio down in the States as well, where I grew up, and be able to inform and entertain people and let them know why the Blue Jays are winning and why they're losing and just kind of show my love and passion for the game of baseball. And I feel very fortunate and blessed to have that opportunity. And there she goes. And there <laughs> she goes. Haven't said a lot of that this year. We could do a little bit more in that area. And if the Blue Jays had a little more offense this year to go with their stellar pitching, they'd be right there. Oh, they would be. Jerry, I know before every game, you do something that maybe some people don't know. You take time just to, to pray. Well, I do. Uh, when that red light goes on to indicate that it's time for a broadcast, I just kind of quietly say, let me love, praise, and serve the Lord with this broadcast, and at the same time, make it uh, informative and entertaining for those listening, young and old, and let me do the best that I can with it, Lord, and then I offer it up to you. Why is faith in Jesus Christ something very personal to you? Well, I think when you look down deep inside, you need to have someone that you really love, and, uh, and for me, that's always been God and uh, Christ. And, if you can have a Christ-centered life to the best of your ability, and we all fall short of the glory of God, then it takes it away from you. And in my profession especially, you know, I don't want it to be about me. I want it to be about the team. I want it to be about baseball and uh, try to get out of the way and yet at the same time let people know that uh, if you follow your heart and your dreams uh, for young people as well, they can go out and do what I've been able to do. And, and then you put it in a spiritual context and you work as hard as you can as if everything depended on you and then you pray as if everything depended on God. That's a nice double play. Beautiful. Jerry, I want to thank you so much. And I want to just pray blessing upon you, thank you. and your dear family. You're much loved, my friend. Appreciate it, Paul. Blessings. I know you're a big fan, too, of uh, not only the Lord, but the Blue Jays. You got it.